Hello, hello, my booze. I got a video for you guys. I'm gonna be trying these McCart tips that I ordered from AliExpress. Um, I don't know how well they work, but I'm gonna try something, guys, and I'm super nervous. Super, super, super nervous. Oh my word. So, here's what I wanna try. So, you all see the Apre, Apre, I can't even say it. Apre, <laughs> Apre, Apre nails. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's what we're doing. That's what I'm attempting anyways. So I have watched a few videos, Baby Girl Nails and this and that, a few other ones, and I'm like, okay, I can do this. But I'm so nervous. And what I'm nervous about is when I press down on these nails, like, how am I gonna hold that in my lamp? Like, what the, I don't have a little, a little light. Maybe I should wait till I get a light first. I don't know. I'm gonna try one nail, see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we'll just flip the whole thing and forget it till I get a little uh, flashlight. Anyways, but also what I'm worried about is pressing this gel near, near my cuticles. Like I'm really freaking nervous because I don't want to get no like allergic reaction because I would just flip and die if I got allergic reaction to gels and stuff. Like, because that's my whole world. Oof. Oof. Anyways, these are the full tips from my cart. We're going to give it a go. I mean, what's the worst, right? I mean. Okay, so these are 500. You get 500 of these and they were on sale on AliExpress for like $4 and something. Or maybe about $5. You might as well say about $5. Anyways, let's just check these out. Now these are actually curved too. So as you guys can, oop, if I could hold on to them. Listen, I cut all my nails off so I could wear these things so they wouldn't like show through the bottom of them. But these are like super, super curved. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just curious as to how. Oh my word, I'm so nervous, so nervous, so nervous. That one usually looks like it fits side to side really well, I don't know. Maybe I should go one size bigger, let's see. Okay, so this is a size one. Oh wow, that is like flipping humongous. Like that would probably fit my toe. Ugh, that's not gonna work. That is definitely not gonna work. Okay. So I'll use, uh, usually the tips that I don't use, like the ones that are too big, I just leave them for clients or I just use them to paint on. So two it is. We're going for a two, baby. Two, baby. Okay, so there is a thumb. I'm just going to try one. I'm going to try one out. If it works, we're all set and ready to go. And like I said, I'm just going to add a really thin layer. Because it's so much thicker than the um, Builder Gel. I really think it would work better, but I don't want to push it all the way to my, my cuticles there. I'm just going to stick it right here. Not a lot, just like, because it's thick. It's so much thicker than what the base gel is. I mean, I probably should have got flatter nails, but I really didn't think that uh, it would be such a problem.
Okay. Um, it's getting there. Felt like you really had to press down. Okay, so you get it down here where your cuticle and stuff's at. Like, how do you get it out? Because it's underneath the nail. Right? That's what I worry about. I just worry about it getting all my cuticles and stuff. So file underneath that to make it rough. I think I was. Oops. Okay. So um, I'm gonna use this little bit right here. And this is like a little cuticle bit. Everything. But I'm just gonna turn it down really low. And I'm actually gonna go and remove this because I, like I said, I do not want to get no reaction at all. Okay, it's really low, but I'm just going to go around and remove that. Like I said, I don't want no uh, I don't want to take no, no, uh, oh, it just peeled right off. How cool was that? That was so cool. And then I'm just going to go around and make sure there ain't none of them nowhere else. And so far it looks good. Holy cow, it worked. I can't believe it. So, so here's my big great idea. I'm gonna go ahead and it feels pretty secure too, like I'm freaking shocked actually. But I'm gonna go ahead and size these up really fast and I will be right back. Okay, so I figured out why you have to file the bottom of them. Because I just tried it without another one without filing it and it literally popped off. <clears throat> like that just in the middle and okay so I got it on I already have it on and I am just going to actually working for me like this and all I'm doing is holding it somewhat under my light to where and it's really not that hard actually I was actually surprised how much easier it actually was I'm actually using my um, pretty uh, pretty diva lamp is what I'm using 
and I just hold it at the mouth of it and let it cure all the way through. And it's actually doing pretty good. Okay, but they do feel pretty sturdy, guys. Like I'm really shocked. Uh, these are, like I said, are the Macar, and which I've never tried the Alpre ones. They feel really, really sturdy, but there's no give to them. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not bendable at all. But I'm going to be painting these, so we'll see how that goes. I might have had too much on that last nail, so I'm just going to put a little bit right here. Maybe I should put like a little slip layer on. I'll keep it all towards the middle because it's been working pretty good like that. Push it back that way, okay. want to make sure you turn your light on first and then push down. Oh, I think that one went on this now. Okay. That one actually turned out pretty good, guys. I'm actually surprised with it. Like I said, it's so hard to tell exactly how much to put on these because you can't really, you can't really tell. I mean, it's hard, hard to figure it out. I say, I'm sure the more you do it, the more it'll, the better it'll be too, of course. stay on I don't even know all right so I got it on guys another thing a big thing I have to tell you huh? make sure that you get these on straight because if you do not <laughs> they're gonna be crooked and you're gonna have to take it off and do it all over again luckily I hadn't cured mine long enough and it was easy to pop back off but it was so crooked it was so great, good guys. I wish you would have seen it. Crazy. Crazy.
so I got them on using these McCart nail tips and your Yogi Builder um, Builder Gel clear in a bottle. Um, I like it. I love the way they look. Um, I am going to remind you guys though, if you are doing this technique and you have never, this is my first time doing this, so like I said, I just want to be very careful. I do stress that to you guys. If you are doing this technique on yourself, if you have any gel that is in your cuticles or on the outer edges, remove it immediately. Do not wait. Do not wait till you do all your tips or fingers or whatever. Remove it right then. You know, you don't want to take that chance on having a reaction. But I do have to say, eventually you will be able to tell exactly how much to use because the more I did, the better I was getting at it. This little poor little pinky looks awful over here, but oh well. The rest of them turned out really great. I love how they, how they apply. They did good. Um, but like I said, please be extra, extra careful if you're doing this on yourself. I did cure these for at least 60, uh, 60 seconds to 2 minutes on each finger because it is hard gel. I wanted to make sure that it was completely penetrated through. You do have to file underneath the nail. I noticed this one I'm surprised is still on because this is the, one, the first one I did without filing it. The rest of them I had to because if not they will pop off. If you're holding them down you do have to hold with a lot of pressure my only concern is where there are tips I'm like worried about like if there's no give to these there's no flexibility and it does look like there's a little tiny crack right here but I think it's just where I was holding it pressing it down so hard but you definitely want to push up with your hand with your finger to give it that you know try to get all those bubbles out as possible for the most part, I think they all did pretty good. I did have to file underneath this one because Jill, I put too much and it came out on the end. Definitely didn't want that, so. Alrighty guys, so I will come back with another video showing you what kind of nail design I'm gonna do on these that I hope you guys enjoy, so stay tuned and keep an eye out for that. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section if you have tried this technique before. What you think about it if you like it if you don't like it your opinion because i do like to hear from you guys to know what you guys think about these things um i did feel like it was a little bit better to use a uh, thicker consistency uh, like builder gel because the for one thing like i said these tips are too arched i cannot use just a base coat i wanted to use just a base coat so, because that way, you know, when I took them off, if I just wanted to buff off the base coat, that would have been fine. But these are way too arch for that. So, if you are if you don't want to use, like, a hard gel or a thicker consistency, I advise you to find one that is flatter. A flatter shaped nail. These McCart ones have a arch in them, so you're not going to get that with those. Unless you have, like, a really high arch on your own nail. But anyways, guys, like I said, let me know down below what you think. If you think they look good, if they're okay, if I did all right, if I didn't do okay, what I need to do, what I don't need to do, because I love hearing your guys' opinions. Hope everybody is having a great day. I love you all. If you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that big old red old button down below. And if you are already subscribed, thank you guys so much. I love you all for being so supportive. And have a great day. Bye.